straight out of the burbs. <laughs> Please welcome Sydney Braggs. <laughs> obligatory minivan, which is hot! <laughs> now I realize that any vehicle that gives you a boxy grill has eight cup holders and makes you look like a soccer mom is not attractive. However, there is room in that minivan for me and my husband to get it on while the kids are at karate. <laughs> We're doing our own martial arts and then after, we need a little post-coital pick there's goldfish, juice boxes, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. booty, cheese, crackers, skittles. Should I keep going? Yeah. I haven't always been in the burbs. We moved down from New York City a few years ago. And, um, you know, I really wanted to meet some girlfriends. I needed my posse. Bless <laughs> <laughs> them. And um, <laughs> before I got them, I met this gal who I thought was really cool, K-U-W-L. And I invited her over with her kids, and they're all like wrecking my house, and I hear them downstairs just trashing the place. So I go down and check on them, and as I come back up, I realize the mom is snooping around in my kitchen. It's a play date boundary. <laughs> she, um, she pulls out a note. She's like, what's this? Mm -hmm. And I recognize that piece of paper. Can you guys hear me? I'm like, Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, she pulls out a piece of paper that I recognize, and it's like a sexy, saucy, little racy thing that my husband wrote to me. And she's like, all full of contempt, fit to be tied. Are you still having sex with your husband? <laughs> no, true. And I thought, you know what? Clearly, she doesn't have a minivan. <laughs> <laughs> these soccer moms, I mean, these, uh, these, these women who are, these moms who are driving around in their Suburbans, their SUVs, don't understand the beauty of the stowaway seats <laughs> and the power blinds. <laughs> <laughs> so after the kitchen incident, she went on a whole trash talking PR campaign against me. And it really, really got to me. I think it really, really threw me off my game. Because I was new in town. And I ended up throwing a shopping cart down a Target escalator. <laughs> and um, I didn't mean to. But, you know, I was feeling really dizzy. And as I was passing out and going down, I saw the cart and the eggs and the cheese and the yogurt and the goldfish and the sippy cups and the juice boxes and all my post-coital treats. <laughs> she gets wrecked. And I passed out. And when I woke up, you know, obviously I had my head examined. They told me I have this little inner ear disorder that's brought on by stress. And, you know, I got really pissed off. I'm like, I let those bitches get to me. <laughs> and, um, I thought about it, and I really looked at them for who they were. I'm like, fuck them. Who wants to hang out with a bunch of prudes who can't enjoy a good poke? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, all cut off. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm happy. Be good poke. I got lucky. I met this gal. She's sort of like me, a city girl. She has libido. She was a little vodka in her sippy cup. <laughs> and she gave me a mantra. Pussy, pussy, cock, cock, tick, tick, cunt. <laughs> I'll say it again, because it's a lot. Pussy, pussy, cock, cock, tick, tick, cunt. I don't, I don't say that shit. She's like, you practice around town. So I'm going around town. I'm in Starbucks in line going, pussy. I'm at the gym. I got some kind of weird Tourette's. And then, as it often does for the stay-at-home mom, it all came together at bingo night. Pussy, pussy, cut, cut, dick, dick, cut, I want, I want, I want! <laughs> I overheard another mom call me a tart. She referred to me as a tart that night. And I don't know what that really means because I'm a baker. 
So I looked it up, and um, a tart, my favorite definition is from Urban Dictionary, a tart is more of a tease or a flirt than, say, a host canker slut. <laughs> okay, this is really like a competition. This is a challenge. I'm wearing a tube top to the next big sale. Tart, tart power, tart power, girls. <laughs> so um, it's sort of catching on, and you know my name's getting around, obviously. And um, my defectors, they're coming to me one by one. I was at the grocery store just yesterday, and this gal came up to me, and she's like, "What's a penis look like? I forgot." <laughs> so I retrain them. I put them in the minivan! <laughs> and I take them for a ride over the shoulder of the road. And as we're going over the ridges... <laughs> I see a smile come back to their face. I'm like, wow, how's that hit you? <laughs> yeah. I also bought shake weights for all of my uh, girls at the bus stop. <laughs> We're not strong, but we're happier. Is that a dolphin masturbating? <laughs> and for my soccer mom friends, who the hips? Because the hips don't lie, Shakira, Shakira! So that's my mission. I'm Cindy Bragg, sizzling up the suburb.